dictators, especially in Africa, and indeed the whole world, seem to be reading from the same playbook, which playbook I believe must be destroyed so that nobody, especially in the new generation, reads from that. Mm. You know, while many countries are, are getting better at the observation of human rights and the rule of law, others are actually descending to worse levels. So it is a responsibility of all of us as Africans, as East Africans, as human beings, to observe what is right and to make sure that we look out to our, our brothers and sisters, even across borders, to make sure that injustice is nipped in the bud mm. whenever it shows um, it face a dictatorship, whenever it shows any signs, must be destroyed when it's still a seed, not waiting for it to grow up in an uh, 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 an invincible tree. Mm. Yeah. So you, you've been uh, in North America on your North American tour. You were in Boston, you're in Washington, D.C. right now. Yeah. You are in Maryland, you were in Toronto. What are Ugandans in the diaspora telling you? And why is it important for you to engage with the diaspora? Is that a constituency that you really, uh, a politician in Uganda should care about? Yeah, very important for us to engage the diaspora. First and foremost, we must acknowledge the fact that the diaspora has uh, taken our best uh, owing to the brain drain that has been ongoing not only in Uganda but very many African countries. Mm. But in, U in the case of Uganda, so many of our talents uh, and our resourceful people have been drained from Africa because Uganda in particular does not offer them what they deserve. The environment. Is, say, mm. yeah, the environment does not favor their dreams. They are first world brains in a third world country. And it's only understandable for them to want to work uh, or to live their lives in communities, in societies, under conditions that dignifies them. So we come to these people because we know these are one resourceful Ugandans, but most importantly, that are living in well-governed countries. We believe that what they've learned here can be such a resource to our home. But n most importantly, even within our struggle, we know that the regime, the dictatorship back home, only fears the international voice, only fears sanctions. And we have, uh, um, capital we have capitalized so much on our diaspora community to push for sanctions, mm. to push for um, 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 these uh, development partners, to hold the, uh, the administration back home accountable uh, in terms of human rights and the rule of law. Mm. I must mention that uh, our di diaspora team has done tremendous work, work that has led to the sanctions uh, against the former police chief Kali Kaihura and a lot of other Uganda and other officials in Uganda that were involved in human rights abuses. That was so motivational to the people of Uganda mm. and we wanted to continue. We wouldn't have been able to achieve that minus our diaspora team.